By the way, I'm saving off screen now because I've come to learn that saving messes up my recordings. Somehow it does now. It didn't used to do that, but now whenever I save, it ends the recording and doesn't save it. So now I'm doing that. Shoe Puff sleeping. Wait until Shoe Puff wake up. Seems you destroyed the Owlbear's machina. That's some dedication. You'll receive a blessing from Yevon. It'll be necessary to strengthen security so that the Owlbear won't be able to get, won't get their way anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Words. I thought I was lucky not to run into any wily merchants on this side of the shore. But I ended up buying something from that man over there. Oh, Awaka. Awaka, at your service. What you got? Nothing particularly good, just some potions and... I'll buy, what the heck, I'll buy a couple of these. Guard Yuna. Okay. Sin took my daughter. But I just saw her again for the first time in five years. That Guado Salam place was amazing. Huh. So people, so you can see dead people in Guado Salam. They're in Guado Salam. Guado! I sense that Lady Yuna was here. I can feel the warmth of the people. The descendant of the other high summoner and loved by everyone. Yuna embodies perfection. Th this is the official voice of Guado. Guado Salam is a up ahead, but the path is infested with fiends. Make all necessary preparations before departing. Should I stay a crusader or follow a different path? I want to discuss this with someone on the far plane, but maybe I shouldn't. Okay. Attending either. Let's just kind of scout the path, shall we? The theme! The theme! Oh. Hey. You're not dead? So good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Huh? Oh, that Machina? That was you? Mm hmm. Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> w wait, but you attacked us. Nuh uh, it's not exactly what you think. Yo! Friend of yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Albed. <laughs> nice say. Uh, uh. Wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry, Waka. Huh? What? Ah. 
Sir Oren. I would like Riku to be my guardian. Show me your face. Huh? Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? A hundred percent. So, anyway... Can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Right oh. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. Oh dear. Oh, I got a trophy all together. That means I have just got the final party member of the game. Now let's take a look at Riku real quick, shall we? Uh... Also, obviously I'm switching someone after her. While I'm at it, I'm gonna... Re-equip certain people with... Better... Things. <laughs> So she obviously we get whoa that's a sketchy picture <laughs> okay that I did one and I expected that let's take a look at her spirit grid shall we she plays the same way she did at the start of the game of course let's go ahead and work with her spirit grid I'll show this one since it's new. Do I want to do this? It doesn't look very worth it. Especially not because I have to have two level one key spears. Forget that. I obviously can't move her yet. We're good with this. I guess now we move on. I was like, I just love this area. I'm so sad we're leaving it. But we are. Ooh, a treasure chest. I wonder what's inside. I got stopped for a moment. I didn't know I had to press X. Treasure chest in battles. Use the special ability steel to open treasure chest and found on the battlefield. Be careful. The battle will end as soon as your foes are defeated and any unopened treasure chest will be lost. Also, attacking a treasure chest will destroy it and all of its contents. Bomber. Yahoo! You should know. I'm scary when I get mad. I'm gonna use that item I just got on you. You'll be sorry. Mixing. Riku's overdrive mix allows her to combine two items in stock and create various special effects. The results are unknown until the items are actually mixed. Try mixing the two bomb cores you just found to see what happens. Okay, mix... Where are they? I can mix the map with something. Why do I have two of these? So you can also say you can mix health items too. Firestorm? Holy... Yeah, overkill. No kidding. What did you just do? That was great! I can combine items and use them like this. It's not that tough, really. Well, Brick is broken. <laughs> Thing is, I can only do that with her overdrive is ready, but I can totally see that being an, like, instant heal to the entire party if I use a healing item. Or, well, a nuke, like we just did. Obtain and 
do it times four. I love this game. to Guado Salam. In we go. Yep, Guado Salam. Expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, uh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, your friends are also welcome. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. Customizing equipment. Now that Riku has joined the party, you can customize weapons and armor. Let's take a look. Audio tutorial. <laughs> customize is used to upgrade weapons and armor by adding abilities to them. I'm not reading these. You can pause the video and read them yourself. I'm gonna just kinda go with them. Nice music, by the way. Understood, I get it.
What'd you do without me? Let's actually look into that, shall we? Also, um, let's... Yuna? Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's look into that. Uh, maybe we get to the equip screen? No, items. Whoops, that was a screenshot. Okay, wait, how... Oh, customize, derp. Sensor, distill power, distill mana, di oh my gosh. Sensor. Oh, ability sphere? No, forget that. That's a lot more useful. <laughs> I take it there's no way to undo that. Oh, we can. Cast Null Tide when HP is low. That could be useful. Well, let's that we get a dragon scale, by the way. <laughs> Okay, I'll probably play with that some more off screen. Let's head on. Where does this go? Aha! Look who else here! Oh! How fair you, Sir Guardian! It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. Thank you so much for destroying that Arabic contraption. Those heathens are despicable. I feel so relieved now. Care to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Tell me about the far plane. Ahem. The far plane is the place where pyre flies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon. How I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the fireflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the heart of the living. And that little bit borrows the Pyrefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Care to hear about the Far Plane or the Pyreflies? Tell me about the Pyreflies. <clears throat> they may be called Pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. There, those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the pyreflies doing. In fact, pyreflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows? And that, as they say, is that. Or maybe not, who knows? Okay. Uh, I can't get. There we go. We Guado help the warrior monks patrol the roads beyond. Why wouldn't we do all we can for the good of Spira? Okay, there's not a tutorial thing if you need that, but Nick's doing it. Okay, it's a nice inn. This place looks weird. A ferocious storm is ripping through the Thunder Plains. Please, remain inside. 
Is the ground flickering? It looks kind of like it's flickering. I like the music, but I'm not really a fan of how this area looks. Well, I mean, I'm a fan of it, how it looks, but it's hard to explain. I, I'm not a big fan of the area. We gotta protect the far plane so the dead can rest in peace. Humans! Humans! A summoner and her guardians! Although we gotta differ from humans in our appearance, our respect for the dead is the same. Is that Riku? No, that one Riku. I thought that was Riku for a minute. I feel like Riku's gonna be a troll character. Lord Seymour instructs the Guada youth on numerous subjects. Thanks to him, blah, blah, blah. thanks to him, I learned about Yeving's teachings and the history of Spira. Tell me about this voice I'm giving these guys. You love it, hate it, up to now. <laughs> the elders just won't g give up the old tongue. I keep telling them how unseemly it is babbling like that to guests. Thou seemest wary, good traveler. Wouldst thou sit and rest thy feet a while? Ah, Bilak, my speech perplexes thee. Tis old Guado I speak, a tongue seldom heard even within Guado Salam now. Good travelers, prithee forgive us, our acquainted prattling. Okay. <laughs> Creepy old man. <laughs> What's in here? Is there a house in this tiny thing? I'm about to say, this house is tiny. Oh, a waka. Oh. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims that come to visit the fire plant. Listen, you watch that they don't get you too. Me, you can trust. More than a Guado, at least. What do you say? Double edge. Water strike and lightning strike both. Obviously, I can't afford any of this. But is there anything good? If there is, I might come back here. Fatal Cat Sith. Oh. Poison touch? Wait a minute, how was I missing that? Holy, that could make Yuna very, mu very much more offensive. Lightning ward. This, I, feel, I know, is going to be useful coming up. I'm not going to sell anything just yet, but I am going to keep this in mind, because that lightning ward will be needed. I, what the heck, what do you have? I thought that said switch Hitler for a minute. I'm not kidding. Switch hit, switch hither. That's actually a lot cheaper. If I held up, this is all a lot cheaper. Let's see, who would be good though? Cheaper enough for one person. They did just mention the Thunder Plane or whatever it's called. What did they say it was called? Thunder something? So I feel like Thunder Guard would be very useful. I'm making a loop, aren't I? No, I'm not. Present yourself to Lord Seymour before approaching the Far Plane. Okay, so that's the way to the Far Plane. You, stop running. I want to talk. I want to talk. It's called Endurance Training. Stay out of my way. Okay. You find it difficult telling us Guado apart, don't you? I suppose you think we all look the same. As so protectors of the Far Plane, the, the Guado are the supreme race of Spira. We are fundamentally different from the populous humans and the hulking Ronso. But, that's an old story. Now the Guado seek harmony with other races. Okay. 
Say, you play for the Mercedes Urax, your Tiras, right? I saw you at the tournament. Let's play Blitz sometime. No! Those fiends really made a mess. Some of my teammates were badly hurt. I am never playing Blitzball again. Never. <laughs> That's how much no is in my voice. Can you hear it? Huh, we just ran into a wall. Anyone else notice that? These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. Hmm. So, Seymour's half Guado, half human. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. I wonder what smells so nice. Hmm. Stay close to Yuna. Indeed, an uneasy feeling. Hold up one moment. 